We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But otherwise, fresh face because I'm getting makeup done. I'm still going to do some work. My laptop here. Got a, uh, a fresh cup of coffee and I'm going to power through this and get it done. What's the time now? Eight o'clock. I reckon I can have this knocked over by 11 and that's my last project for the year but I do have a couple of coaching sessions one tomorrow and one on Friday and then that's it for work for the year so here we go the final sprint Whew, work is done invoicing is done what will I do now? Well, to be honest, I have been online shopping. <laughs> I haven't bought anything, just window shopping. I'm sitting here with my fabulous new Damia Azua Eva clutch. I'm really like, this is a great, look at goes with my, I'm wearing my Christmas dress, I know. I couldn't help myself. I'm just like, oh, if I'm not wearing makeup and I wanted to get dressed and work, then, I should wear something nice so I thought I would wear my Christmas dress that I bought the other day and this bag look the dummy Azura is a perfect match so I'm gonna wear it again today because why not I think I'm gonna swap out my classic card holder to my little flat um, Chanel card holder because I think this one just takes up a little bit too much room and I don't need everything that's in it. So I will definitely be doing that before I head out. I've got my makeup appointment at two. So I might go a little earlier because, you know, if I'm going to be at the shopping center, I may as well make it worthwhile. Um, I don't know how busy parking's going to be and all that jazz, so um, what is it? It's quarter past 10 now, so yeah, actually, how about I show you what I'm going to wear? Um, I've had this picked for a little while and yeah, I'm really excited to pull it all together. I've got a look in mind. I'm channeling a more voluptuous uh, Jennifer Connolly uh louis vuitton look because you know that's um i feel like we've got similar coloring <laughs> okay sneaky peek for you guys i got this beautiful dress i saw it and i went oh i love that because it's kind of fitted through the body like slim through the body with these voluminous kind of um tulip sleeves uh, obviously I have my LV Cruiser earrings and you can see all of these little details on here which look really cute. I'm actually going to wear it buttoned right up. Normally I would have the buttons down and with a bit of neck showing with a bit of a v-neck but I actually think this dress will look better. Well I know it will because I've tried it on fully buttoned up because it shows the sleeves more. I am going to take my Capucines BB with the shoe shoe handle. Um, the one that my husband calls a 90 year old man's appendage. I don't care. And I have, these are brand new, so don't be worried, they're on the bed. Um, some witchery leather sandals with a crisscross strap. They've got a block heel, so they'll be nice and comfy. That's the whole look. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think I'll wear my hair parted down the middle in a low, messy bun and some great makeup and yeah, cocktail ready. Okay, we've been for the walk. We've had the shower, we've washed the hair. We're all nice and fresh and we're heading to the shopping centre a bit earlier because I was talking to Connor earlier and he said it will be mayhem. Uh, and it's usually the case. For some reason, people don't shop the city at Christmas, they shop the shopping centers and I've always found that the city is a much more pleasant shopping experience. Um, however, I didn't want to drive into the city and pay $50 for parking for a short period of time and parking has gotten a little bit tricky because 
parking tends to reduce in price when the school holidays finish because a lot of people take the school holidays off and so a lot more people drive instead of taking public transport because why wouldn't you? Um, so if I go to the shopping centre I can park for free and it's a bit closer, maybe five minutes closer, negligible closeness, probably less distractions at the shopping centre for me to be honest as opposed to going into the city, um, you know, which poses many, many, many distractions, um, bear traps, uh, rabbit holes, uh, any analogy that you want to use. Well, that was easy. Mindset, mindset, mindset. We found a car park. So I'm going to go in and stroll around. I may or may not get some footage of strolling around. Um, and I'll see you in a little bit when this clean face is transformed. Done. I'm really really happy with it. I uh, had a great makeup artist who listened to what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I want a light coverage so she used the same um, Hourglass Illusion skin tint that I usually use. I don't want heavy matte full coverage foundation ever. It's just really aging. Um, and a really bronzy look with a winged liner and just natural lashes. And yeah, feeling very, very glowy. So now, um, and the eyes are pop, pop, popping. So now I've got to go and sort this hair out, get dressed and try and download some footage for today's vlog so that I don't have to do so much when I get home tonight. Wish me luck. I haven't done them yet today. Um, this lighting is much better, better in here. You can kind of see what's happening. Um, but I am just gonna go willy nilly on the Adore Beauty one because I've lost where I'm at. So, what have we got here? First class charcoal detox dry shampoo. Yes, I just got a dry shampoo. Doesn't feel like there's much in it actually. That's weird. 45 mil. Okay. Um, I just got the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, but I am keen to try this one. And from the Peony Parcel Calendar, day 15. Let's see what we've got here. What? Latia Gingerbread Coffee Alternative Tea. Burnt. Cleansing tonic with prebiotics to promote digestion and flushing of fatty deposits. 
detoxifies the liver and purifies the blood. Really? Gingerbread chai? Oh, that sounds revolting. But if it does flush fatty deposits, it might be worth an option. It might be worth trying. Okay, so what did I do? I backcombed my hair with some Kevin Murphy Fresh Hair, which is a dry shampoo, which I'm using up before I start my other ones. And then after I backcombed, I used this pure natural extract oomph wax spray to create some texture in my hair. And then I just pulled it back and swept it up into this messy lower bun chignon thing because that's how I want it. I want the little part through the middle like that, a bit messy, a bit bumpy on top. And yeah, a bit of a fanny straight edge at the back, a little bit 90s. So I might get dressed now and show you the whole look. Okay, I am done. Looking very bronzed and um, happy with the hair and the makeup. I know I look glowy at the moment, but that's because the sun is shining right in my eyes. Um, so that is the face and the makeup look. And then this is my dress and I'm loving the blues, especially with my capucines. So here we are is the full outfit look. So you can see the sleeve detail there. Yeah. So I really wanted to wear it as a high neck because I think it shows off the shape of the dress better. I was going to wear my Bottega belt, but it actually looks better as a, with the self-tie belt um, because it doesn't draw any attention away from the continuing pattern, which is much more flattering for me. I have got on, just a moment, my Louis Vuitton Essential V, where is it? There it is, bracelet on my stack and I've just kept it really simple. Yeah, so um, let's see how we go when Connor arrives and um, I am gonna try and download some footage so that I can get some sleep tonight. <laughs> I've got a New York um, tourism edition compact. I don't know where my little plastic one is, which is a real pain in the backside. I've got my Dior Lip Glow. I've got my Yves Saint Laurent oh, YSL. What is this one called? Oh, that's what it's called. I've got my Chanel card case from the Graffiti Collection and my six ring key holder. That's it. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> we are on a hot day tonight. Very hot day. It's nice to finally get together because we were going to do a Christmas collab. We could still do it. We may still We may still do it because Christmas is still next, not this Saturday, the following Saturday. That's right. So anything could happen between now and then. So um, Connor is our chauffeur um, for Not this evening. <laughs> He's gonna start work at eight. I'm gonna be up at 5.30, but he needed to have an early night for an eight o'clock start, so. Oh, not an early night, just because <laughs> it'll stop me from going overboard with the beverages. It'll stop you having to be nice to people, <laughs> feeling dusty. Yes, and I am not a can deal with a hangover person. I know what I'm like and no yeah. one deserves that. Yes. <laughs> well, I've not witnessed that before, but I don't want to either. <laughs> Mind you, I did get some nice comments from my friend Katrina about um, looking like I'd had a few Negronis last, oh. <laughs> last week's, was it Saturday's video? It must have been Sunday morning's video. Yes. She's always good at giving me feedback, isn't she? Love so, feedback. yeah. Oh, we are going to the Louis Vuitton cocktail party. Ooh, we're so fancy. We're so fancy. Um, and it's nice to be able to go to one of these things because 
the invites, but it's never convenient and it's nice to be able to go with a friend. Yes, a fellow Lux lover. Yes, a fellow Lux lover indeed. And you know... You've got to get that $72,000 you spent at Louis Vuitton worth of the parties. That's true, yes. I'm just looking it at 72, like, the sparkles 000? on the roof here for a moment. Oh. Yeah, 72230 But then I didn't add the earrings onto that. And then I realised that I also left. didn't add on and left. Sorry, Dale's also directing me because yes. I am terrible. If you're going to drive, I can give directions. That's fine. Right, cool. <laughs> you have to keep reminding me. So, um, yes, I didn't add in my pre-loved items i mean i was you know looking at total spend at louis vuitton but i'm thinking total spend at louis vuitton ever yeah mm. as in this one no straight up it's okay though don't stress so i'm thinking when i do my louis vuitton collection video i'm going to do the collection video and then i'm going to do a follow-up video which is um what i've sold yeah and why? Mm -hmm. Sorry if you're cold. Tonight. No, I'm not cold. I'm no. on fire. Yeah, no, we can keep it on. Um, because I think that would be interesting. Because I've probably sold more Louis Vuitton than any other brand as yeah. well. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking. Not, you know, not intentionally. Not intentionally. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's right. There's no. no point hanging on to something that's going to collect dust. That's right. Um. So who have you been watching on YouTube lately? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching Gwenny's Vlogmas. I've been watching some of Autumn's Vlogmas. Yep. I've been watching Tanya's. Um, there was one others who I've watched. Oh, Andrew's, I've watched some of Andrew's as well. But honestly, like I, because I had that week off, I feel like I kind of fraudulently entered Vlogmas because I was off oh, work for that week. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is great. Yeah, I vlogmas. I did, yeah. And I was like, I can do a video every day. And then when I started going back to work, I cannot. Yes. Because um, it's not the filming that's fine, but it's the editing. And then if I can't do it all in the one day, I feel like it's like old news the next day. Not that it is. Not that anyone knows. Not that anyone knows. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but it is that time warp thing. Yes. I think Autumn talks about, she goes, I'm telling you it's going to be in tomorrow's video, but actually it's not it's the tomorrow's day video. I'm filming it tomorrow, so it will be on the day after. But I'm saying this, and because my days, when my days go live, they are the day of the month because I started filming on, on the, the 30th, 30th of November. November. Yes, correct. And so day one is the 1st of December, day yes. two is whatever. Um, and so that's kind of okay, but I do get a little bit mixed up on the advent calendar yes, yeah, side yeah, of yeah. things. Yeah. Um, hence I know, my Adore funny. Beauty one and now I've just given up on that. I'm, like, <laughs> just, I'm just going to randomly <laughs> open doors whenever I want to. Yeah, yeah. and that's just, I mean, to be honest, that's pretty stupid doing the half. Like how they don't have the, yeah. that many days. Yeah, well considering it was only $99, maybe it's a trial. Like maybe they go, how yeah, well okay. did the advent calendar yes. go? And then next year they might do a 24 day one. Because I think for $99, the quality of the products is good. Yeah. And and it's valued at a hundred, like two hundred dollars or something, or two hundred and fifty dollars. That's right. And um, so I'm like, I would pay two hundred. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. To get I twice as much, much value yeah, or more, the... like two and a half times more. That kind of how it works out. So you go over, hey. No, you stay in this lane. Right. Yeah. You know what though? Um, today's was a total letdown. Oh, was it? Like as in tomorrow's video? As in the video that we'll be in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. That you'll be in. Sorry, I'm always in it. <laughs> <laughs> Starring me. Starring Dale for the me. first time. Yes. Um, it was, and I just opened it this afternoon because I nearly forgot. It's this revolting gingerbread <laughs> coffee flavoured tea. And nah. I'm like, no. And then it says it dissolves fatty deposits and detox detoxifies. I'm like, <laughs> you're back in, though. <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, like, I know you don't like gingerbread, but, like, I like it occasionally, but I love the smell of, like, that cookie smell. You like, like the that, nut Yeah, like, I love that. Mm. But I, a tea? No. Yeah, well, um, the reason that Connor knows that I don't like gingerbread is because he had a great idea for us to make gingerbread houses together. Nice. And I'm like, bird. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> bird. No, thank you. Um, let's make chocolate houses. <laughs> yes. I mean, I like both. I feel like in Australia, though, our gingerbread isn't like it is in Europe because I've had European, like, gingerbread cookies and they yeah. are amazing. Ours don't taste that good. Mm. Like, they taste 
like very cardboardy, like very plain. Yeah. And like the icing and stuff, it's very I think basic. It's just the nutmeg kind of reminds me of chai. Oh yeah, I don't like. No, yeah, I know what you mean. I don't like yeah, chai. Yeah, I don't like. When it people either. get chai lattes, I'm like. <gasps> Anything that's had to have that much flavor added to it, I'm just like, because mm. that's what. I'm, but I don't like sweets really. Like the yes. sweets that I like that have a lot of flavor are tarty, like yes. a lemon tart or a. Um, I like chocolate cake with a bit of chocolate cake. Yep. Like you know, like yep, the. Yeah, same. I don't like things sweet, that are really sweet. sugary. Yes. In saying that, this pavlova I make. <laughs> Say that, I made 30 kilos of pap. <laughs> so this um, in front of us is a all girls school called All Hallows. I didn't go there. <laughs> Did you, Connor? Did you go there? No. No. no I was missing a no. um, uterus. <laughs> oh, that old chestnut. That old chestnut. Why'd you let that stop you? Okay, it's Pika. Everyone's going home from work at the moment, people. This is the what traffic smoke. looks like in the big smoke of Brisbane. It's not bad, is it, right? Although it is a Tuesday and school holidays, school holidays. Yeah. so, so the kids are at home. that is like something to consider. Um, so we're going down Anne Street. All of our streets facing this direction are ladies' names oh, from okay. the royal family, and all the streets going in the cross direction are the men's names, like William and and George and Albert and Edward and Felix and Connor. No. <laughs> Connor Street. Connor Street. Dale Street. There is I could Connor be either. Street in the valley of McLaughlin Street. Oh, yes. Well, there's a Dalesford. Dalesford. Yes. That's in Melbourne and it's a very That's fancy. That's in Victoria. Yes. And there's also one in the Cotswolds. Oh, yeah. Now we're bragging. Yes, well, you know. So, if you watched Gumby, then did you watch Astro Boy? Yeah. <gasps> did you watch David the Gnome? No. Did you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes. I was Michelangelo. You were Michelangelo? Yeah. Oh, I love Raphael. Well, we can dream. <laughs> yeah. Um, I else? liked Michelangelo because Cowbunga Dude. <laughs> but <laughs> I thought Raphael in the movie. Is this weird? Raphael in the movie. I thought he was hot. No. Because he was cranky. I love all the, the time. name Raphael. Yeah, well, it's my, French. My girlfriend's um, little boy's name's Raphael. It reminds me of like a tennis player. Person. Raphael was an F though, mm. the Italian way. Oh, mm. Forza, mm -hmm. which means go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there you go, Tanya, some Italian for you. What did you say again? It's Forza, it means go. Forza. Forza, that's where they go. Forza Italia when they were playing the soccer. Oh. Like, go, go. Fabulous. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. So our original plan for lunch, dinner, sorry, did not go to plan. So now we have to go somewhere else, yes. So hopefully we can get a bite. It's drinking on an empty stomach. It's not recommended and I already said I don't have enough hands for champagne, a bag and food. And I don't want to make a scene. And, and yeah. <laughs> We've got some calamari, some grilled halloumi and chips. Carb overload. Stomach on his bag on the table when we have a very good chair for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a chair. Yeah. Okay. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some So I've just sent Connor to go and get top ups. Um, no table service here, unfortunately. Hopefully you can hear me. I am yelling at the phone and people around might be curious as to why I'm yelling at a phone looking at myself. Anyway, we made light work of dinner. Um, so that's good. Responsible cocktail party attendance. Always. 
It was really delicious. The salt and pepper calamari was divine. We've got about half an hour, so we're going to enjoy a nice Riesling before we go to the cocktail party. And then I will walk you down the Queen Street Mall with us and see what we can get up to there. We're just going into Brisbane Arcade a slight detour because it's so pretty. We thought we would film some pretty, pretty Christmas content. Oh my God, Connor, how nice is this? There's lots of beautiful, oh, that's lovely. I should stop walking so you're not jumping around. Oh, how lovely, look, there's Christmas trees down there. It does. Gwenny, you'd love this tree. Oh, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> we took a little detour into the Brisbane Arcade. How pretty is it? So pretty. So nice. Everything, and we've got it all to ourselves. There's no one else in here. So romantic. Show us your look, Connor. This is my look. Doesn't this he look my dapper? gay pride Louis Vuitton. I want one of those. If there's one there, I might get it. I might twinsy with you. With me, yes. Twinny. Because we're fib. We're fib. All right, we're walking down now to get our shit together. I don't want to crash the party. <laughs> we're here to crash the party. Um, I wonder if they'll let us in.
Okay, so funny story. <laughs> um, left here. Oh. Where it says exit. Oh. You can go around the pit. You can go around the pole. <laughs> I was going to <laughs> say. It's okay, Connor. It's going to be alright. So, um, we're at Louis Vuitton. And Connor's having a sideways jive at me about my Louis Vuitton stand and saying, you know, I've spent so much money this month. And my client advisor says to him, just after he says that, well, who's looking after you? <laughs> Who looks after you? And Connor, <laughs> and I'm daydreaming because I'm like waiting to pay. And, uh, and she says, who looks after you, Connor? And he goes, tell him what you said. What did I say? I look after myself. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, but who looks after you? And then he looks at me and I'm like, oh, not me. <laughs> anyway, she thought. Connor thought that she thought <laughs> that he had someone sugar else daddy. paying for A his luxury daddy. addiction. But that's not what she thought. She's like, she didn't use the terminology, do you have an SA or a CA? And it was coming from the context of, I had just said, I've spent X amount of money on luxury goods this year. <laughs> and then she goes, who, who looks after you? I was like, bitch, I look after myself. <laughs> it was, it yeah. was so insulted. You have to wait for a green light, mate. Oh. people. Oh, I was like, am I missing something? I need to be short. They've designed the world for short people. Obviously. Because I'm like, green. But yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun party. I mean, well. Well. No, it, it was, was a nice. It was nice. It was nice. I mean, <laughs> nobody ripped up the dance floor. It was a bit vanilla, but it was a pretty vanilla. Well, that's what you expect. But yes. they were serving Verve yeah. all night. We didn't see any food, so it's a good thing that we did have our dinner. It, that's green, Is Connor. That green? I can see it on your face. Colorblind. <laughs> Don't make fun of the disabled. <laughs> Stay in this Left side. lane, left oh lane. Oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> Do I turn left here? He's, yes. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Well, look, there's Louis Vuitton in the background. Like I didn't get cleaned up in front of Louis Vuitton running the red light. Well, if he did, I would have just gone shopping while we waited for the ambio. <laughs> ambio and the You ambience. would have got cleaned up. I'm fine. I'm on this side. Oh, and I'm on hospital side. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we had a nice time. Yeah, it was lovely. It was good. I'm glad you were there. <laughs> Mr. Addiction would not have dealt with that at all. He'd be like, why am I here? <laughs> Who are these people and why do I care? Okay, Connor, go straight. <laughs> Even when it's a green light, like, yep, green, you can go. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy Good tidings, creeper.